we must admit, honorable members, that as a country, we had been living large and way beyond our means. President William Ruto, who has been a vocal critic of former President Uhuru Kenyatta's policy of borrowing money from China, appears to have changed his position as he looks for money to finance Kenya's development projects. Earlier this month, Ruto's government announced it will ask the Chinese government to give it more time to pay off existing loans and for an additional $1 billion loan. The new loan will help Kenya complete toll road construction projects, pay contractors who abandoned work of unpaid bills, and invest in ongoing infrastructure projects such as extending the country's standard gauge railway northwest to Malaba at the border with Uganda. It is a big flip-flop from two months ago when Ruto told the country he planned to stop borrowing money. We were in a very bad position. We had a lot of debt and we didn't have a plan on how to solve that problem. I would like to tell you that we have stabilized the economy of the Republic of Kenya. We have made sure that we won't be borrowing loans anymore. Stabilize the economy of the Republic of Kenya. China is Kenya's second largest lender after the World Bank. During Kenyatta's presidency, Kenya took out $8 billion in Chinese backed loans to finance the initial construction of the 480 kilometer standard gauge railway from the port city of Mombasa to the nation's capital Nairobi and the construction of a major Kenya highway. During Kenyatta's tenure in power, his administration also spent about $8 billion to repair and build 10,000 new kilometers of highway across the country. To pay back what the country owes and the new loans he is asking for, Ruto's government announced plans to expand employment and raise taxes as two of the ways to pay back the loans. But economic experts like Charles Carissa are worried that it's not going to work and believe it is financially dangerous. As a developed nation, it's a, it's a, it's a bad situation we're in right now because if you borrow more, then it means you know, we have less to, 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 uh, to, 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 to take care of our needs. One of the things that I will argue this government to do is to relook at the issue of taxation because uh, theories have proven in the past that if you tax more Kenyans uh, or you tax, you know, you bring more taxes, the revenue does not, you know, gradually go up. Why? Because uh, people tend to sort of uh, evade pay taxes and therefore we need to balance the two. Government data shows that Kenya is spending about half of its revenue to pay back debts on its books to the International Development Association, the African Development Bank, the International Monetary Fund, China and Japan. Kennedy Wandera, VOA, Nairobi, Kenya.